You're watching ROI TV. We're here in Jerusalem, home to Jewish tradition for thousands of years. For ROI member Chaya Gilboa, it's not about our past, but about our future. We're about to take you on a story of Chaya's religious upbringing to how she is redefining Judaism for you, for me, and for Jews around the world. Shalom, my name is Chaya Gilboa, and I grew up in Jerusalem. I always say, uh, say that I grew up in a different Jerusalem than I live today. I grew up in West Jerusalem in a place called Harnoff, a Haredi neighborhood. Uh, my family is very religious, so growing up there, I think I can describe myself very religious until the age of uh, 16, 17. From Jerusalem to her journey around the world, Chaya discovered the meaning of Judaism and the new path her life would take upon her return home. If I have to describe myself in one word, I would say passionate. And I think, uh, especially because of the activism that I'm part of, if you are not passionate for something, you can't do it. And maybe because I grew up religiously, and the whole idea of kavanah, the intention, it's something that, I, that goes with me. Her kavanah led to a master's in public policy, inspiring real change outside of the classroom, where she then took her first steps into the public domain by opening a cafe in Nachlaot with a new type of kosher certificate. So I said to myself, let's take this and just call it kashrut kilati, the communal cash root system, and let's do it differently than the Rabbanut is doing. Let's hire a woman, and then it started grow and grow. We saw it work with the Kashul system, and I asked myself, where else can we implement different solutions to create alternatives to the Rabbanut? So when I wanted to get married, it was very clear to me that I do not want to do it through the rabbinic court. But we did create a very Jewish egalitarian chuppah. After our personal experience, I realized how it's important to create an alternative system for the Israelis and for the Jews around the world to be able to express their identity in the most important day of their life. From changing the world of love and marriage, Chaya goes back to the core with education, founding her program Chavruta, bringing together Israelis and Americans for nine months, talking about religion and state issues, and finding a way to solve them together. From projects to pluralism, ROI has helped Chaya stay connected and create. Being an RI fellow really changed many of the things that I do. Starting from the convention a summer ago that was incredible and really um, changed the way I think about many of uh, the projects that I'm running and introduced me to so many different voices that inspire me. And of course created the networking that I use all the time since the convention. And of course the, the, the RI supported so many of the projects that I do and encouraged me all the time to think differently and bigger about what I want to achieve. I grew up religious. I spoke uh, Jewish language before I spoke Hebrew. And I really deeply care about those values and about those ideas. And I, I love the phrase tzedek tzedek tildov, justice, justice you shall pursue. But I think I realize today that it must be relevant. And that's what I want to do. I want to change Israel for the best and I want to change the Jewish uh, discourse and make it relevant. From a political activist to one day becoming a political candidate, it's Chaya's passion that helps redefine our Jewish community around the world. To learn more about ROIers making a difference around the world, check out ROI TV.